Okay guys, uh, I'm going to start doing some pattern design tutorials. Uh, I've had the many requests from users for me to do this, so I had to go through my tools and I'm trying to put something together that you can order easily so that you can follow along. And so I'm going to show you some of the tools that you can get started with. And then I'm going to show you a couple other ones that I use uh, out of convenience. So let's get started. Uh, these are Fairgate tools that you can buy off Amazon. I'll see if I can find a link on Amazon and give it uh, a link in the video below. But what you're going to find when you're looking for these, it may come with all of them just about when you buy them in a set come with a square. And they come with this tool and either this one and this one and if I remember right I had to buy this one uh, separately at my sewing supply store that I use um, but anyway just be aware that you're not gonna get all of these in a kit that I've found I may be wrong you may find you know all of them in there but this tool and this tool are kind of somewhat the same throughout some of the the curve like right here this is a hip curve uh, the difference is this one goes around a bit and is a bit longer so I tend to on hips I use this one more than I use uh, this one here and you've got the small one here for like armholes and necklines in this area here and a little tighter curve around here uh, for you know various forms on the body and then this one you can do it on either side it's designed on this side but you'll find situations where you can use uh, this side also on these so don't don't necessarily limit yourself to this outer piece because uh, sometimes you can come in and use this too just flip it over to get to the form design that you want but anyway um, I'm going to see if I can find a link on Amazon to these and I'll give you they're going to be associate links, so I'll earn a few pennies if you use it. I'd appreciate that if you support the channel, uh, because all the money that I'm making off this stuff basically goes into buying stuff that I can uh, show you guys and buying machines that I test and all that. So uh, anyway, I'd appreciate that. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to show you, I use, you can see this thing's all scratched up. been using this for years. I'll use this at times because it's quick and easy. Uh, to get on a spot that I need but I did find one on Amazon that I bought that's the exact same uh, shape that I'm going to give you a link to that I'm actually going to start using this and I'll tell you why number one it's not clear it's smoke colored as you can see right there and the other thing I like about it this one has big holes in it for pivoting so there's a big one there and a big one there this one has a small one and that's the one I use the most when I'm pivoting so you put an awl down there on your pattern and you can pivot this and keep it anchored down and it, it offers a little bit more control so this one I just got in when I found it and uh, I'm going to start using it so I'll give you a link I think it was four is under five bucks it's very inexpensive so there's that Okay, let me move this out of the way, and I'll show you a couple other things. Okay, this is a Dritz tool that you, you can buy at basically your local sewing supply store. In the U.S., it's Joanne has them, and... Um, a few others so anyway you can actually find them in uh, in the US I think I've seen them in Walmart stores that have sewing sections even so you can try that also but this has the hip curve area it's from 1 to 17 is what they show you and then it shows you the armhole is from 13 to 26 so from 13 around to 26 and then it has a straight edge on it here and then it's got uh, one eighth imperial measurements basically for uh, lining up to do like seam allowances and stuff like that. 
Uh, I don't use it for that, but anyway, you, you can use it for that. The only thing I don't like about this, I picked it up like this one time and it snapped right there. So I had to glue it back together. And I've used this to teach uh, some sewing uh, pattern classes before and that's why I keep it because it's the most common one that you can get in the retail box store. So that's an option for you. But again, the reason I don't like it is it's flimsy pack, uh, plastic and it can break. All right, let me show you another tool. This is a good one. And I got this one from the San Francisco um, pattern school um, or whatever. Anyway, I'll find it and I'll give you a link to it also. This one's good because it's got the almost straight edge and then all the way into the hip curve, all the way into the arm also. And then you can use these inside areas if you want a tighter uh, turn. And you can use this whole thing in pattern drafting. And this is used by a professional that teaches uh, pattern drafting, uh, Susie Furzer. Fur, I think it is. And she's on Craftsy. But anyway, this is a good tool to have uh, for drawing patterns. You can basically draw everything you need with a straight edge ruler and this on a pattern too. So if you want to keep it simple and just have one thing, uh, I'll put a link uh, to this for you and you can get it. All right, let me show you the things that I use that I bought at a big box store in the United States. Uh, at Lowe's or Home Depot, either one will have these. I like this heavy metal square ruler because when I'm drawing on it, it weighs about 10 times more than this aluminum one does. And this thing's made of metal. Anyway, so when I put it down on paper, I just have to basically put my hand on it. I can put pressure to make sure I have a good straight line uh, when I go down it. This one, even though I've got my hand on it sometimes, when I press on it, it'll move so easily. Uh, so if you get this, this will come in a kit. I'd recommend you go down to your local hardware store and buy this. This is 24 inches by 16 inches. So 16 inches this way and 24 this way. And this one is the 24 by 14 it looks like. Yeah. So you get a couple more inches on this ruler when it comes to your square, but you really need to use a square to keep things lined up when you're pattern drafting. So that's the first thing. And I'm going to show you the second thing that I use, and I have them in various sizes. I use them so much. This big yellow ruler. And the reason I like it, you can see there from pin marks and stuff, dragging along the side of it. It's thicker than anything, so when I need to do a good straight line, uh, I can use this, put a little pressure on it, come down through here, draw my line, and it stays, you know, set on the pattern paper without moving so much. It's slick, it can move some, but usually I'll put a pattern weight like on each end of it when I'm drawing my line, and it keeps it good and steady. But it's got a thicker ridge uh, for when you're coming down and stretching out, you can stay up next to it without moving it. And I've got one uh, three times this length for when I do draperies and stuff and I need a good long straight edge, it'll stay stable. That's the one I put my pattern weights on and anchor it down. And then I can cut draperies that are several you know, feet long, eight and 10 feet long and stuff, and that will handle it. But this one's 48 inches. It's a good size for uh, cutting your pattern paper if you get wide pattern paper or something, but um, That's a good size and they sell I think a 24 inch one too So if you can get both of those, but these are very handy. They're metal. They're durable They don't flex as much as the other ones do and they work out real well All right, I think that is it I've given you everything you need and you want to get pencils with a sharpener or whatever, because when you're drawing, you want to keep very fine lines and you want them to be erasable too. So get a mechanical pencil with a fine lead in it and either that or a, a number two pencil, say like a school pencil and a good sharpener. And you want to keep the tip sharp when you're drawing these out because 
If you get one too fat, uh, you, you get off an eighth of an inch and do that on both sides, you're off a quarter of an inch when you drafted everything. So I want to keep a fine a pencil handy too. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to let you get these supplies together. And um, then I think the first thing we're going to do is people want to know how to create a pajama pant pattern in my video that I've done on my PJ so, uh, so long. So I think we'll do that first. And then after that, we'll do a t-shirt. So we'll get started with those two basic ones and uh, let you follow along and uh, see if you can get a pattern drafted based on your measurements. That's it for now. Take care. Oh, let me know if you have any questions, post them below. And I'll be happy to answer them, but look for the links in the uh, more info box about the video and I'll put them there. That's it for now. Take care guys.